I want to keep this short and sweet because I wrote something that I want to share with you. But um, first of all, I just want to say how grateful I am. Um, I've reached a million subscribers on YouTube, which is a flipping huge milestone. Um, I want. Hey, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> boy, I better not reach a million subscribers on YouTube, boy. <laughs> I, hmm. I'm trying to figure out what would I do if I was to reach a million subs, man. That a person can only dream. I mean, if you into something like YouTube and stuff like that, then you're probably dreaming about a million subscribers, bro. Oh, I ain't even see you there. What's going on? It's the done. Um, back with another video. Just trying to check me out some more. Ren, bro. I'm interested in him as a person, man, and his message. Look, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. My plan soon, um, I'm trying to be an advocate, bro, for mental illness. But I actually spoke about this in another video that I deleted. I might go and re recover that video and edit that into this. Um, but yeah, we finna get straight into this. Uh, we, I don't wanna waste too much time. I'm trying to give y'all a, a couple different videos today. So best way for me to do that is to I won't get into it, bro. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who supported my music over the years, whether you're newly on board or have been here for a while. I wanted to say thank you to the YouTube reaction community who have gotten behind my stuff in a big way and really helped me reach this goal. So thank you guys. Um, um I ain't gonna lie. A lot of y'all, not even a lot of y'all, but one of y'all told me to react to this because he had a message in here for reactors. Um, yeah. What he just said, he ain't talking to me. I ain't gonna lie. I just got on Ren. <laughs> There's no way he thanking me. <laughs> well, he could be. He did say new or if you've been around. I mean, so I guess he talking to me. Appreciate that. I guess he talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody been new about Ren. It seems like I'm the only one who didn't. He can't be talking to me on the cool. Uh, I'm getting on right now. Yeah, I wanted to read this. This, this passage that I wrote about success is too much for me to remember right now, so bear with me, but yeah. Success to me means that I have a responsibility that transcends me. If I have a platform where people are paying attention, then I feel like it's my duty to make that count. It's far more important than my aspirations with music and what I could personally gain. There's a saying that stuck with me recently, which was a rising tide lifts all ships. Somehow, by finding success for myself has meant that I can find success for the people around me. And that makes me feel very rich. Bro. Bro. See, I, I really feel like when it comes to stuff like this, bro, I'd rather speak about this kind of stuff on my own. I really don't be liking to piggyback off of other people's words like this because then it's like, damn, is this how you really feel or is you going off of what this person's saying? But I ain't going to lie. This is exactly why... I'm trying to make it, bro, because I feel like I'll be one of those people that's really out here trying to push change, really out here trying to do what I can to help the less fortunate, really out here trying to, I really do that, bro. I ain't going to be one of them people that's talking about it but not doing it, fool. Um, I feel him on this. What is the point of the money, bro, if you're not helping no one with it, fool? Um, I don't like selfish people like that. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I be helping people with no money i heard that when you help somebody and you really ain't got it shit that'll get you blessed for real i'd be helping motherfuckers with my last i i boy i wish somebody would give me a bunch of money where i could really go out here and make a change bro in these streets i'm in a very strange position right now where i owe much of my success to the most destructive force in my life which has been the turbulence of my physical and mental illness. The thing that has by far brought me the most pain has been a source of constant, constant inspiration, which ironically led to creations which brought me the most joy. Creating art which means something to somebody else and can potentially be a companion to somebody else in the dark justifies my own pain, and I desperately needed that to be justified. There are a lot of people alive today who live in the dark, it's a place that I'm very familiar with. In the peak of my health problems, I was severely underweight 
All my meals had to be restricted and blended and I was so tired that I couldn't participate in life. I couldn't socialize, I couldn't watch films, I couldn't read. My bones constantly hurt. Even standing in the shower was excruciating and exhausting. And this one. Y'all give me a second. I gotta go to my YouTube comments and look something up real quick. I'm gonna put an edit in this. I told y'all I'm uh from now on I'm really editing like less. I'm giving y'all like these videos unedited. But when I'm doing something like this, this is about to take me a little while to find this comment, so I'm gonna skip through this. You feel me? I'm tripping though. I don't even gotta look for the comment. I could just edit it into the video and then say, um, one of y'all gave me a comment, um, explaining his situation to me, and it was a goaded comment to me. But I was like, damn, that's crazy that you know that much. I was really shocked that you put all that in the comment like that. You really had put me on game, bro. Um, I was wondering in my mind, damn, like how invested have you been to know dude's story like this? So now I see this is where you got it from right here. <laughs> this is where you got it. But I, I rock with you, though, because, I mean, ain't no way you went back to the video, remembered everything that was said, then came to my video to comment it. You must have knew all that, remembered all that off the top of your head, bro. So, shouts out to you, man. You you definitely a real Ren supporter. I don't like calling people fans. It's just an icky word to me, bro. I call everybody supporters. Um, I don't even consider y'all fans, bro. Y'all be calling yourself that, and I be correcting that in the comments, bro. Not fans, bro. Use the word supporters, bro, because that's ultimately what y'all is, bro. How do you go from being a supporter to being a fan? Um as somebody gets bigger you only doing the same thing you've been doing now because i'm bigger you you a fan no you a supporter bro it's because of you that i'm where i'm at um but yeah and this went on for years with no answers nobody could have ever convinced me during that time that my pain and suffering would be a source for something good because it felt insidious Nobody could have ever convinced me that something constructive can come from hurting every day. But I'm here to tell you that if you are hurting every day, don't be afraid. One thing I know to be a certain, to be a constant law of the universe, is that life is inconsistent. Life is beautiful and life is hideous. Life is kind and life is cru cruel. Dancing inside this dichotomy and inconsistency makes me know that you won't hurt forever. Whether that comes from resolution of what you're going through or acceptance of where you are, you won't hurt forever. You don't know yet whether or not your pain conceals gold. It definitely conceals wisdom and it's definitely a catalyst for filling you with empathy. So stand strong, my friends, and don't let the darkness consume you because once you know the dark and become intimate with it, you become very capable of wielding the light. You I ain't gonna lie, that's so real, bro. That's so real. Damn, this dude got away with words. I am not even gonna hold you, bro. I see why he a musician. Um, that's really interesting what he said, bro. Um, I can't remember what he said exactly, but what I took from it is, bro, learn how to get through being homeless, bro. Because once you learn how to navigate through stuff like that, bro, then you'll be able to navigate through stuff like this, like a better life. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like when you go through things in your life and you figure it out, you keep that, that patience and you keep that, that mental wellness, bro, to figure it out. You learn how to avoid it once you get in a better situation, bro. Um, and I feel like that's kind of what he meant by that. This a, this dude, I ain't going to lie. Bro trying to fight the tears back um, is so relatable, bro. He probably a little more comfortable crying online than I am, but I could definitely understand talking about pain and then it pulling that, that emotion out of you, bro. I don't even, I be avoiding certain conversations because I know what's finna come behind that, bro. Um, so really, bro, when I got into it with y'all about my mom, I honestly thought that I could have that conversation 
without it hitting me emotionally, bro, and it didn't, bro. So I ain't even get too deep into that. I waited until another video to kind of do it again, bro. But ultimately, it's really a hard conversation to have, bro. Um, because, bro, do your Google zone. My mama worse than Ren, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, fool. Um, so. I want to use this channel, bro, to advocate for mental illness, bro. We need more people paying attention to this stuff, bro. And we need more people trying to figure out cures and trying to figure out what's going on in the mind, bro, to even create this shit, bro. Like, how, how does a person become mentally ill? How does a person just be depressed every day like this? Or how does a person hear voices, bro? How... Does a person want to kill themselves, bro? How how does this happen to the mind, bro? This We got to figure stuff like this out, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. We got to figure this type of shit out, bro. You could be instrumental for changing this world for the better. There's nothing humble about shrinking or doubting yourself because you are large. You can be ferocious and you could be magnificent. For the medical industry, who too often let people fall through the cracks, it's your duty to do better. For the people living in the light, who have either stepped out of their shadow or have never had to walk beside it, it's your responsibility to pull out, put out untainted love. Our own greed, desire to ferociously expand and decisions rooted in self-interest can benefit ourselves in a material sense, but can be very destructive to the hive and the world around us, ultimately hurting ourselves. So we really must consider that if we're going to step into a bright future. As humans, we have an incredible potential and it would be a shame to throw it away. So community, humanity and changing our relationship with the natural world so it leans more towards homeostasis must be a priority. Priority number one. If you're watching this and there's a knot tied up in your stomach with bitterness, anger or hatred for your fellow human being, be with it. Feel it. Understand it express it and then let it go you're hurting give yourself love forgive yourself and then project that love outwards and the anger will pass we have a decision in every interaction to tilt the world towards heaven or hell towards Jana or Jahannam, utopia or dystopia and some people's ideas of heaven will be another's image of hell so tread carefully but treat those differences with respect Tapestries are made beautiful because of the variety and the sum of their parts. <laughs> Thank you to one million people inside this rich tapestry for the opportunity for me to try and spread my own vision of what I believe to be good. And thank you for justifying my pain. Th that was a good way of words. Um... My bad, bro. Um, I ain't even gonna edit this, bro. I might own. All right. Uh, my bad, bro. I was gonna say that was a good choice of words. That was a good choice of words. Where he was saying, he said, "Thank you for allowing me to show y'all what what I feel like is." Let me hear that that one more time. I don't want to word him wrong on this, bro inside this rich tapestry for the opportunity for me to try and spread my own vision of what I believe to be good. And thank you for justifying- Thank you for allowing me to spread my own vision of what I believe to be good. Um, that's essentially what I'm trying to do too, bro. Um, man, I, I can't wait till I could really like just, Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't wait till I could really start using this platform for what I really want to use it for, bro. Right now, I'm just in the process of trying to build a real community of people that's watching me on a consistent basis. Then I'm going to start really telling y'all, like, what we here for, bro. We doing the reactions and stuff like that, bro. But, man, I, I'm here to raise awareness, bro, to a lot of different things. But mental illness being at the top of that list, bro. Um, for real. For real. And when I get to, you know, my... 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 subs, I'm thanking everybody every time because I appreciate y'all for being with me on this journey. 
as I try to um, just open up more and create a real reason for even doing this YouTube stuff. I don't want to just react forever, bro. I want to be a, 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 a advocate for something. I want people to come here, bro, and learn something straight up. And people really need to learn about mental illness. So why not push that? I'm a growing channel. Yeah, y'all can grow with me, bro, on this, bro. For real. Find my pain. Thank you. I love you. That was a dope video. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was a dope video for sure, for sure. I f*** with it, man. Um... It really, really, it really wasn't a lot for me to comment on, cause I did it throughout the video. So um, this one pretty much over. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. I'm a, I'm a roll like some credits. I'm a shout y'all out. I'm gonna do it in credit form. I think in a second. Um, I appreciate y'all, bro, for rocking with me in these videos, rocking with me being real and um, being honest with y'all, bro. This friend be kind of making me sad. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Um, but I be watching them because these videos, bro, when I have to speak about something he's saying, it's kind of helping me in a sense, bro, open up to y'all. You feel what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't even be talking to y'all about none of this stuff if I wasn't watching these Ren videos. So it be hard to watch, but at the same time, it be fun and it be cool and it be... Because I get to open up more and kind of talk to y'all about me and what I've been through and what I kind of still deal with. Because like I say, my mom ain't dead, bro. My granny just went to see my mom. Um, I think she in like a mental institute for real. And I told my granny to call me when she went, but she didn't. But it's cool. Um, she said my mom lost hella weight, bro. Which is crazy, like. Because... I appreciate y'all for watching. We gonna go ahead and get into the next.